day everyone and welcome to another episode of my channel yeah well what can I say the last time I fixed not fixed I cleaned the fan of the of the gas heater of the truma and what I want to do today is I want to get the fridge out because that one is um, not cooling properly and there are some advices online to take the fridge out and turn it around and put it on uh, the other way around it has to do like I'm not an expert it has to do with this chemical kind of reactions inside and the ammonia and stuff like that but um, if you need more information you just need to google it so it's an absorption fridge it works a bit different compared to a compressor fridge and what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take the the heat sink off I can show you that uh, it's um the heat sink down here both and I'm gonna put new thermal paste on that behind that one so yeah hopefully that's <laughs> hopefully that's gonna work because I haven't done this before and um, I don't really know how to do that the only thing I know is before we start I need to turn off the gas and um, start from the outside to disconnect the, the gas pipes well probably so we will see and yeah I hope by the end of the day the fridge is out and I can just uh, put it somewhere for the night and then put it back in tomorrow so that's the plan so guys let's go just make sure that everything is off uh, inside and of course I'm gonna jump outside as well and I'm gonna check the bottle back of the fridge wonderful so now I just need to find ah there we go this is the the gas pipe and oh there is even the lifeguard there is gas running out of here cool well the gas pipe is off now was a bit tricky. I had to pour some. It was like super stiff. I poured some um, WD-40 inside to make it a bit easier. And now I'm gonna jump to the front and get the door out. So we have two more screws here. I hope that's gonna be enough. It seems like they added this one here. I don't know if it's if you if it wasn't before ah no okay there is a screw on top Ooh. I hope I can get that one out and then we have those little knobs we need to take out two on both sides and oh yeah <clears throat> we have this open bar here as well there are two more screws Turn that one off. I can go on low, off. I mean, power is off anyway, so. Okay. guys <laughs> it's not even a proper screw so what I just did um, <laughs> uh, actually I used the spoon and pull that one out with the spoon and now the door is out that's good okay so off to the next
what I did is I just unscrewed these two ones, these screws, and now I'm trying to take this uh, cover here off to have a look behind it and just to see. So I should be able to get this one. Oh, maybe I need to take off the knob here. Can I just pull it? I just had to pull that one off. Back in the glass and now I should be able to take this one off. Ah, oops. Huh. Another one. Did him. But now, now, now. There we go. Off. To the front seat. All right. Too easy. And it's dirty. It's dirty. Oh my gosh, guys. Took me ages to figure that out. Um, the cables were inside this kind of cable channel, however you call this one. And I took these ones out and now I should be able to pull that one out and then disconnect everything. So I don't need to get out the gas pipe of the stove hub. So let's have a look. Yeah, the rookie did it. The rookie did it. I'm happy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's out more or less. I just need to disconnect the wires and that's it. Um, yeah, maybe you can see that now I was able to pull it out. And uh, yeah, need to open that case, disconnect all the wires. And don't forget to take a photo first and then I'm gonna take that one out, clean everything and move on from there. Bam, let's go. Now I'm happy, oh my gosh, my mood is way better now, seriously. Okay guys, I took it out properly and now we can see which um, cables we have to disconnect, but, oh. Maybe it makes it a bit easier if we just take oh, I'm gonna do that we can just disconnect it down there so I don't have to take out all these wires here and we just have like four Yeah, four connections and that's it too easy. I would say Don't forget the photo Done. The cables are off. Makes it way easier for me now. Now I can just take them out, and that's it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I did it. I can't even believe it. I mean, I'm I'm seriously with this stuff. I'm just a freaking rookie, and yeah, now I'm just uh, give it a good. Uh, just put the fridge out, and then give it a good clean here as well. I mean, there's so much dirt in it. As you can see, I'm gonna clean the fridge. And while the fridge is already uh, like turn around, I'm gonna take the heat sinks off and to uh, put the thermal paste on. All right, guys, I decided to take the timber board off as well, but it's not even too bad here. So I'm going to give it a clean as well. Oh, 
perfect. Hey guys, inside is done, and now I want to clean the fridge properly. And I'm going to use some chlorine to get the smell out as well. Um, good experience with chlorine. I had a fridge when I was younger, and that one, well, had a pretty bad smell. So I used, I tried everything, and then to get the smell out. And then I tried it with chlorine and it took one quick wash and everything was just gone. So I'm just gonna pour a bit in so it's easier for me. those I don't even know what it is yellow marks okay it's uh, kind of clean now I mean I can't get those marks spots off but I can't change it at least it's clean nothing inside anymore um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take those heat things off and uh, put new film paste uh, on the back so yeah I'm gonna do that now oh by the way it's Torx all right alrighty guys the old stuff is um, off now now I can put New thermal paste on it and on the heat sink a bit on the back and then it should be fine looks really yuck to be honest Boom. usually they say less is more but this time well that's how we say it in German but this time I decided to go for more but I have to say it doesn't look too bad it's okay I mean should be alright uh, I think I'm going to put some more on the back of the heatsink then, as well. Alrighty guys, everything is back in place. The thermostat is on the heatsink again. The heatsinks are in with new thermal paste, <laughs> but now I need to give it another clean. And it's pretty much it for today. Okay guys, I flipped the fridge around and I can already hear the liquid going um, back, well, up, back down. I uh, hope that one's gonna help, so I'm gonna find it out soonish. And yeah. I put the covers back on, and uh, inside everything is kind of clean again. So, yeah, I put everything in a basket. I need to put it back together, all the screws in my glass. And that's it. <sighs> Back on my chair. So, let's get this together. It took me ages, to be honest. As you can see, I'm not an expert, I'm a freaking rookie. And, um, I mean, it was just a freaking wire, like the wire canal, you know, I had to open, and that's it, to get everything out. But, well, Sometimes even the easiest stuff is too hard. So I'm happy that the fridge is out I'm gonna put it back in in a couple of days and usually they say leave it like 24 hours but um, Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that within the next couple of days. So it's gonna be there for longer, I guess Alrighty I'm still hoping that you can you know kind of um, Get the idea behind this and what I did because it was a mess today even for myself um, yeah, other than that, stay tuned, subscribe, follow me on Instagram if you want it, the RV mate as well. And if you need an advice or if you know something I can do better, always let me know. And see you next time and peace out.